Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So we get started now with the analog joystick module. In the last video we did the temperature and humidity sensor and that was a lot of fun so I'm hoping to really enjoy this one. So analog joystick. I just have the, the idea that I'm going to make an Xbox controller. Okay, so analog joysticks are a great way to add some control to your project. In this control we will learn how to use analog joystick module. So we just need joystick, five female to male wires and the Elegu Uno R3. Okay, let's find this joystick. So, okay, so that's the joystick there. And I'm assuming it just goes onto here. <laughs> that is so cool. That is just amazing. You know, people actually design this stuff. It's crazy, man. Can you imagine that having to do with them? Love it. I'm excited. Okay, so we need five male to female wires. We'll check that when we take a look at the wire color. So let's carry on reading this for now. The module has five pins, VCC, ground, X, Y, key. Really? Five pins? Okay. Yeah. Ground, five volts, VR, X, Y. So I assume X and Y are positioning there, right? So for example, like there would be uh, X is zero, Y is 90 or something. And then what was the last one? SW. VCC, ground, X, Y, and then key. So I assume SW is key. The thumbstick is analog and should provide more accurate readings than simply directional joysticks that use some form of buttons or mechanical switches. Additionally, you can press the joystick down rather rather hard to activate a press to select push button. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> we have to use analog Arduino pins to read the data from the XY pins and a digital pin to read the button. The key pin is connected to ground when the joystick is pressed down and is floating. Okay, the key pin is grounded when a joystick is pressed down and is floating otherwise. To get stable readings from the key select pin, it needs to be connected to VCC via a pull-up resistor. To get stable readings from the key select pin, it needs to be connected to VCC. Okay, the built-in resistors of the, on the Arduino digital pins can be used. For a tutorial on how to activate the pull-up resistors for Arduino pins configured as inputs, for example, pin mode SW pin input, okay. So let's take a look at our schematic here. So we've got this being grounded. So ground to ground, VCC to five volts. We've got uh, selection. Is that That's the key, right? Go into digital pin two. And then we've got thumb and vert. Is that supposed to be X and Y? Thumb and vert go into A zero and so A1 and A0, but thumb and vert, interesting. I assume that's the X and Y pins. Let's have a look here. Can't really see. Okay, so ground, five volts, X, Y. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's the X and Y that are going to A, yeah, okay. So X is going to A, A0 and Y is going to A1. Cool, so we just need, all right, so I've got all the Ys I need. Red for VCC. Black for ground, and then purple for Y, yellow for X, and then blue for key. Cool. So let's connect these up first. So uh, black to ground, red to five volts, blue to key. Yellow to X and then purple to Y. Cool, all right, and then so red to five volts, black to ground. So, this is going to be the first time that we're using analog pins. I believe it's blue to digital two. Blue to digital two, and then Y to A1. So purple to A1, and then X yellow to A0. This is amazing. I'm so pumped. Look at that, you know. Within that quickly, you have, you know, possibly a working analog stick. It's just amazing. Look at this. Exciting man, this is exciting. 
All right, let's connect our Arduino. There are quite a lot of issues with these tutorials, but I must say, you know, it's brilliant. It is a lot of, it's really good the way that they've done it. Okay, so, continue. We need five connections, wire next to analog, key is digital. So after wiring, please open the program in the code folder and click upload to upload the program. See lesson five if you have any errors. Analog joysticks are basically potentiometers, so they return analog values. When the joystick is in the resting position or middle, it should return a value of 512. The range goes from 0 to 1024. Okay. So let's open our code. Analog joystick. Analog joystick. Hit upload. Hopefully no errors. Perfect. Worked fine. Open up the serial monitor. Look at that. So switch is 0. So if I click it down, it should go off. Yeah, look at that. Works perfectly. So you could easily do, for example, when switch is pressed, flip the robot. Activate the function to flip the robot. And so now let's move it. So I want to have it the right way up. So it's this way. So if I go up, push it straight up, the Y is equal to zero. Look at that. All the way down, Y should be equal to like a thousand, right? Look at that, one thousand. So all the way right and X should be equal to zero. No, X is equal to a thousand to the right, and to the left, X is equal to zero. That is so easy to use. So you can easily, that's so easy to program. Think about it, right? You can easily just say, you know, when X and Y is between, is when X and Y is greater than 500 and less than 550 or 600, then drive forward and when you know x is for example when x is greater than 900 and y is less than 600 then go right go right when um when x is less than 100 and y is greater than 500 then go left and even you know downwards start that will be so easy to program this is brilliant man this is absolutely brilliant because you can easily know firstly just start off by programming forward backwards left right press do those first then you can just do in the region anything in the region between between straight up between up and to the right that whole diagonal period there then go this way and just program just program from there man and you can constantly keep on making um, if statements to make it smaller and smaller this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I'm so pumped. Should we try it? I mean, let's try it. Go on. This is amazing. I'm excited. All right. Uh, okay. Let's give it a go. We'll give it a go. I'm not entirely confident I can do it, but let's have a go. So what we'll do is we'll put if and then okay i haven't really understood the so we've got sw pin so this this must be the key right so if sw pin so that's when you that's when it's pressed down so if sw pin just like that then that means you know if it's been pressed i noticed that at the arduino ide gives me the extra curly bracket that's why i kept on getting errors okay then we want serial dot print and then we're going to say Flip. So imagine we had a robot, right? And we want we want to flip it. So we're going to say flip, and we'll put down the new line. Hit upload. Okay, then serial monitor. Let's give it a go. You ready? Oh, what? It's flipping. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, because the switch is one normally, right? So when you press it, then it becomes zero, and then the flip should turn off, but the flip's still going. Okay, let's do this then. If SW pin is equal to is equal to zero, try that. Okay, so now it shouldn't happen. Okay, there you go. So the flip's gone now. So I'm driving along, driving along. You know, I flip over, boom, flip. No. It didn't do it. Okay. This is a 
programming issue which I believe I can fix with while okay uh, no it's not working well you get the idea but basically I've, I've got an issue here with my code and again you know I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to Arduino and stuff so digital pin to SW pin is equal to 2 all right um, so maybe I've, I've made a mistake here with the switch what pin mode SW pin digital right SW pin high I don't know what value or what variable this is this uh pressing thing let's just try this if it's less than zero then okay so it's currently less than zero doesn't make a difference really just moving around No, nothing. Um, okay. It is this SW pin, right? Yeah, it is. It must be, because it's got serial dot print digital read SW pin. So what if I just did, you know, if not I don't know. So it was printing SW pin. It was printing the flip before. Hmm. Okay, if I do uh, is equal to one, what happens? Yes, it still doesn't record the flip. Okay, so like this, it will start printing flip. So, what if I do that? If it's not, if SW pin is not pressed, it's really mine, so. no, it still don't work. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right, what we'll do instead then is we will do, I don't know why that's not working, but again, it's not like in the code they give you any explanation of what's going on. Maybe they do, let's have a look. Read the values from the specified analog pin. Arduino boards contain a multi-channel 10-bit analog to digital converter. This means that ma map input voltages between zero and alpha voltage five volts into integers between value zero and 1023. On an Arduino Uno, for example, this shields resolution between reading of 5 volts um, of 4.9 millivolts per unit. The input range can be changed using analog reference. It takes about 100 microseconds to read an analog input, so the maximum reading rate is 10,000 times a second. So this is mostly like copy and pasted in jargon, which is not necessarily beneficial to somebody going through this tutorial. I mean, this stuff's like fairly, you know, just high level theory stuff, which isn't helpful. Okay, so what I'm going to do instead now is we're going to say if our X pin is greater than, um, we'll say if it's greater than 800, and then we're going to print right. So we're going to the right, and then we're going to say else if X pin is less than 400 then we're going to do serial dot print and we're going to say left let's see if we can just do that okay so it's just going straight left for some reason why is it printing left I wonder okay so we're saying else if print left if x pin is less than 400 but our x axis is not less than 400 it's 5 505 unless whilst it's reading it it's dropping but it doesn't even make like okay so i'm pushing it now to the right and our x is definitely over 1023 so there must be a conversion process somewhere that i'm missing so i'm using these values here but it's not I don't think I can use these as variables like I'm trying to use them. We've got analog read of something. Then I don't see why I wouldn't be able to use the SW pin since that's digital. So we've got X pin is equal to 0. Y pin is equal to 1. Yeah, sadly guys, I don't really know what's going on here. As I'm watching this, I'm just looking at it and I'm thinking, hmm, yeah, I mean... Okay, so I'm fairly certain the issue it has to do with this digital read and analog read 
there's a function here where it's doing something and it's not just a normal variable so that's why my conditions aren't working so let me try and do it like this I'll try and compare the whole function to 800 and I think that might work and that's probably what my issue was with the SW pin again you know I, I'm gonna need to actually spend some time going through you know some real Arduino documentation you know probably a good Arduino book or something because although these these LED tutorials are good you can't there's no way just by doing these tutorials you're gonna be able to build anything decent it just so let's see so now if I go okay the good thing is now I've just seen that it's not showing left anymore which is perfect and so I can I can kind of come to these conclusions because I've done a bit of C programming over the last like year but I mean, I'm a proper novice when it comes to C programming. So now let's just go right. Let's see. If, oh, look at that! It prints right. I was exact. I was. I was right. And then so let's go left. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes, I. I knew it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So you can't just use the variable as is. This is a whole function. There's got. There's going to be some whole back end stuff to this, which is putting some values in here. So you can't just compare as if like that. So let me do the same now. Let's now put again, we'll put another if statement here. And what we'll do is we'll say uh, flip, All right? And then we're gonna say digital read. So now we can successfully read the analog pins, right? So it should hopefully be the same with the digital pins. So if is equal to zero, if SW pin is equal to zero, digital SW pin, then put flip. Okay, let's try that again. So when I click it now, it should it should press flip. Oh, I didn't like that. I've missed out the end. I did it the end by accident. There we go. All right, upload again. Okay, serial monitor. Oh, what? Oh, error opening serial port. Port busy. Okay. All right, let's see. So now we're going to read it. Three, two, one, press it. Look at that flip. Flip, 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 flip. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Got it, man. That, that is, that's really good. I'm really happy with that. Oh, man. Okay, so we can basically do the exact same thing here now with this if statement. What we can do is we can just do the same but with Y. So Y and Y. And then I can't remember what was happening. I believe when I pushed Y up, it went to a thousand. Let's just check that. So if we run our serial monitor and then push Y up, Y so up, Y upwards goes to zero. So what we'll say is if Y is less than a hundred, right? Then we're going to say forward. Okay. And then if Y is greater than and then we're going to, I think the middle is 500, so let's say 600. Then we're going to say reverse. All right, upload. Then let's go to our serial monitor. So now we should just have a simple, steady code. Yep, switch. So if I press switch, we flip, 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 flip. If we go, if we push white, if we push it upwards, forward. Backwards, reverse, look at that, right, left. Ah, oh, man, that is so satisfying. I completely, completely fluked that. <laughs> there you go, guys. So hopefully you find this beneficial. If you did, leave a like. Again, you know, as you can tell, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning the job with you guys. And so any advice you have, I appreciate it. Drop it below. Um, if you know any good Arduino books, I'm looking into some. There's some good ones that I, I do know of, which I'm going to try and get through. So I'd like to maybe, you know, go through some Arduino books here on the channel. So if you're into that, drop a comment below, let me know. And I shall see you guys in the next one. As always, let's just quickly check what the next one is. I thoroughly enjoyed this one, though. I mean, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that I have to start uni again in seven days and I've got a lot to prepare for, I'd probably just be doing this all night. I didn't just I could have a lot of fun with this joystick. Okay, so we've got the IR receiver module, which I've I've actually used a bit of in thread receivers before, so I should be fine with that. Then we've got LED dot matrix. Yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Peace.